Hey guys, Master 50 here again with my uh, second resistance free live commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, and um, for what I might do is uh, I try to review um, Fight Night while playing, so see how it goes, you know. Okay, so basically, Fight Night, basically, the storyline for Fight Night. Alright, so it starts off with uh, this guy, he's a. Uh, he basically neglected his best friend because of um he's been hanging out with uh, some people. Oh shut up. And some people have been uh shut the fuck up. Anyways. Some people who have um the cool gang bit more or less, so it's uh, lol. Anyway. Some people uh um, yeah. So he's neglected his best friend who was in the uh, Salt Peak and for go hang in the cool guy. And uh, then all of a sudden his big friend wants to uh, tell him something and he tells him that his vampire uh, that his um neighbor next door is vampire is a vampire. And then it sort of played out similar to how Disturbia played out only with a vampire instead of a serial killer. So as you could imagine a storyline like that, that be that's pretty much how uh, this film plays out. But it is very good, and they do a really good job with the storyline in it, and um, it's unique enough to be its own film. I haven't played it before, well, it's own second match. Anyways. So yeah, I'd say storylines a solid 8 out of 10, probably. And um, next up are... Uh, same guy. Just uh, do some more focus first. Yeah. Alright, so next up are the characters. Characters are great. All characters are just... Uh, they're their own type of characters, for, but um, they're done in the setting of like an old classic vampire film, which I really like, so... Uh, what the hell? So yeah, they're sort of like classic vampire film characters, uh, modernised more or less. So uh, yeah, if that sounds good to you, then you're probably going to like characters. So I'd say characters are solid, um, I don't know, uh, maybe an 8 out of 10 again. No, not an 8 out of 10, the characters are probably a 9 out of 10, because they're really good. Oh shit. Alright, that's a screen leg. And it's, um, so yeah, the characters are really good, the acting is top notch, it's great. Um, I mean, you've got David Tennant, you've got uh, Colin Fell, you've got uh, McLovin, you've got... Uh, what else you got? Um, damn, I'm done. You got someone that looks and sounds exactly like um, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, it's gone out of my head. The guy played Green Goblin. Um, Franco, Franco, James Franco, I believe it is. Probably James Franco. Um, yeah. So you've got someone like him, an ex like him. So yeah, the acting is ten out of ten for this type of film. It's great. I can't believe they've got so many famous people to them. Starring it, and I believe it is a remake, so maybe that's why. Maybe they're fans of the original. I don't know, but so many famous people in this film, so yeah, the acting is great. Come on, you fucker! Oops, sorry, you're good. Um. So yeah, the acting is probably a ten. Um. Oh well, shit. The uh, what's that? Atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere is great, actually. It's a uh, sort of comedic, but at the same time, it's a whole atmosphere. At the same time, it's a whole atmosphere with comedic elements to it. So I really like the atmosphere in the uh, film. Uh, I think they do a really good job of it. So I'll probably say the atmosphere is a nine out of ten. Why's he glowing? Nice. Um. Damn it. Um, the gore and the violence. Okay, so uh, the gore and the violence are both just above the uh, gore and violence in Disturbia. Because there weren't much gore or violence in Disturbia, and just under the violence in a screen film. So, 
Yeah, it's not too violent, it's not too gory, but it's got its elements. Oh, my head just got half blown off. Anyways, so yeah, so gore and violence, I'll probably say it's a uh, 7, maybe an 8 out of 10, because it's nothing you haven't seen before. And yeah, so that's pretty much the different elements. Now my overall, so overall I'd say this film is a really good film. It's so uh, it looks pretty good in 3D. It uses 3D well because of um, it doesn't base itself around 3D. It just uses it to add some depth to the film, which is the best for it, uh, which is the best possible way I like to see 3D in a film. So uh, yeah, I'd say overall the film's probably an uh, 8.5 uh, to 9 out of 10. It's much better than Final Destination 5. That piece of shit. So. Uh, yeah, just go see this. Don't see Final Destination 5. Me and my mate just hated it, more or less. We loved the, uh, uh, the other ones. Um, but, yes. But this thing is a review of Final Destination 5. So, anyways. Fine Night, really good film. It's, um... Got some great acting, great characters, great story. So, yeah. 8.5, 9 out of 10. Hope you enjoy my review. Now, anyways. So... I just continue playing this uh, match, and when it's over, I will stop this video. I might say a couple of things if I feel like it, but I don't know what to say. By the way, guys, remember this is a live commentary, so uh, if my review wasn't great or concentrated, because I'm trying to concentrate on this, and if I'm not doing very well, because I'm trying to concentrate on the review. So yeah, let me know guys, let me know if you want to see me do uh, reviews like this in future or just have like image of a DVD in the background, or just, I mean in the foreground while I'm reviewing or if you prefer just watching me play a game, so yeah, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty crap here. If you want to fully just uh, just gameplay and commentary of a distance uh, free beat, oh, I should have a video up just before this one. So uh, yeah. Although I did film that late at night, so you probably won't be able to hear me talking very much because um, I might be quiet. So yeah. Bear that in mind, guys. It glitched again. Well, well. Yeah, I'm gonna cut soon, guys. Three minutes. Fuck. Oh shit. In time, me legs. Where is he? I mean, they do. That worked. Fucking hell. These things are overpowered. Oh, come on, man. Who's shooting? Okay. They had an auger, no wonder. Auger shoots through the walls, guys, in case you've never played a resistance game before. Oh, as you will know. I'm gonna cut here, guys. See you back in part two.